Once upon a time, there was a crow, who, when sitting in a tree, saw down below a delicious piece of gorgonzola cheese. That would be nice for tea, she said. Yes, please. A hungry fox was roaming on the prowl. He'd smelt the cheese and saw the feathery fowl swoop down upon it and, with grace and ease, scoop up. The delicious piece of smelly cheese. Oh no! He sighed. Now this calls for a plan. I want that cheese, and I'll get it if I can. So, in a cunning, cheeky kind of way, he began to offer compliments and say, "You beautiful, elegant, graceful, charming bird." With the sweetest song the world has ever heard, please sing for me and do so at your leisure, for your singing would give me the greatest pleasure. Now her feathers quivered, and the crow was flattered. To be beautiful was all that ever mattered. With her chest puffed out to show that she was proud, she opened up her beak and cawed quite loud. Oh dear! You've dropped your cheese," the fox responded, and with it in his mouth, he then absconded. The crow was shocked to find she'd now no tea. The cause she knew was foolish vanity. The moral of this tale is plain to see: don't fall foul to cunning flattery. Wow! Someone is very lucky to have such a delicious breakfast. Who is going to get it? Hedgehog, crow, or owl? Try to guess. The crow is lucky. She gets the cheese for breakfast. What a wonderful day! It's not often that I get delicious cheese as a gift. Who is this? A sly fox who wants the cheese for his breakfast. My dear crow, you look pretty today. What's the secret? Your teeth are sparkling white and sharp. I'm scared. I've never seen such lovely eyes like yours.、Mm -hmm. What beautiful soft feathers you have!、Mm -hmm. I've heard you're such a wonderful cook.、Mm -mm. Please sing to me in your sweet and gentle voice,、ah! silly crow. Did you think you have a wonderful voice? Don't trust anyone who flatters you.